Hello everybody, another video, another topic, and I've seen quite some discussions about this topic, so I thought, you know what, let's talk about it. Um, it's about continuous feeding. Now, it's a very interesting topic, and I've been diving into it a little bit more. I've been looking at it, I've been reviewing it, I've been checking it out, and I came to one specific conclusion. I first want to talk to you guys about why I prefer not to use continuous feeding. While we train our animals, we are very, very busy with teaching them new skills. Very good thing, right? Exactly. Teaching new skills is one of the big things we're doing when we train our animals. Now the question is, what are we using as reinforcers? A lot of times we're using primary reinforcers and the most easiest ones are obviously the food sources the animals need. Food doesn't have a continuous availability, that's the thing. Now we have to think about the animal's diets, we have to think about the animal's weight, we have to think about that everything we do is a welfare benefit to our animals. If I am teaching animals new skills, I want them to understand exactly which trigger, cue signal connects to which behavior. Then I want them to understand that the consequence they got is for a specific behavior we asked them for. Primary reinforcers can be extremely powerful. Now, in general, reinforcers are powerful because they increase behavior. If I am using continuous feeding, I'm actually reinforcing on a specific rate, rate of reinforcement, it goes pretty quickly. The good thing of this is, is that you're building a very good reinforcement history on the behavior that you're training. The other part of this is, is that I do not have a continuous supply of reinforcement. So when I'm continuously reinforcing an animal, all of a sudden my food source is gone. And now what? On top of that, the reason that I don't really try to use it very much is because I want to pinpoint a specific behavior where I want to make the difference in reinforcement. So if I all the time reinforce one thing, what I'm doing now is when the animal does a fantastic job, I can't make a difference anymore. If I see better criteria than before, with continuous feeding, there's no difference. Well, if I put it on that ABC structure, I ask a behavior, behavior follows, consequence comes, I can now really focus on the matter. Did the animal really reach the criteria I asked them to do instead of the continuous feeding process? I prefer that ABC structure. I also talked about time. The thing is with the time especially, it is the fact that if you are in a time pressure, and I'm not talking about your day as in time pressure, no, I'm talking about that animal needs this specific behavior to happen. For example, an injection, we have to do it right now. We only have two weeks to train this. Continuous feeding can help you there. But if I have the time, there's no date planned for the procedure that I'm trying to train, why not take my time and train is very strong because your history of the behavior at the end of the story will be super tight connected to the criteria, which makes the criteria being understood by the animal very well due to reinforcement history connected to it with your training techniques or your program, the system, I wanna say. That's the thing about that continuous feeding. Now, coming back to that continuous feeding, is it easy? Actually, continuous feeding is very difficult. Like we're doing it like it's very simple. But when we really look into continuous feeding, we reinforce behavior. The behavior that we are reinforcing is actually more than what you see. So the eye wink, the wiggle of its tail, the moving their paws, the motion of their mouth, all of this is being reinforced. So if we go into super detail about continuous feeding, it's a lot more difficult than you think. It's another one when I prefer that ABC structure because I can have multiple training sessions and not just one where I feed them all the diet. I can break it up. I can train more behaviors. I do not have to put all their food in one training session. I can make them smaller. And if I do smaller sessions focused on various behaviors, I have more progress with all behaviors I'm trying to train. And that's why I prefer the other their system. It helps me so much more than continuous feeding. That's the thing about it. Thank you and I hope you learned something about this specific procedure. Any questions? Let me know down below in the comments. Bye bye.